Hello everyone, this is Justin Croxton and I wanted to take you through um, a tool that I use on a consistent basis, uh, both through some of the things that we do from a digital marketing perspective in search engine optimization world, as well as through e-commerce and specifically performing Amazon research and just trying to spot check certain keywords that you think may or may not be good. Um, you know, part of what we've been doing uh, for the past, you know, six months to a year is we actually sell on Amazon. We sell on an international basis. So we sell in countries such as United Kingdom, in Spain, Germany, France, Japan, uh, and we also sell in Canada as well. And so the question that I get a lot of times is, you know, what's the, you know, what's the process for finding keywords internationally, particularly if I'm my, if I don't speak that specific language. Um, and you know my answer to that is two things. One is Google Translate, which I'll perform in another video. And in this case, uh, the other tool that I use is Google Keyword Planner. So we're going to hop right into this. I'm going to show you some really cool things that you can do with this. So let's say if you're you already have an idea of the product that you want to go with. You know you want to go with let's say cutting boards or wooden cutting boards, and you want to sell those cutting boards in the United Kingdom. Or you may want to sell those cutting boards in Germany, but in this case, we'll start with the United Kingdom. So first thing we'll do is we'll type in wooden cutting boards, right? We already have United Kingdom picked out, which is great. English is the native language, which is great. Uh, Google is the primary. We're done there. No negative keywords. And we'll go out there and the tool will go and fetch some ideas for us. Now before I move forward, I want to show you this trend line. This, this trend line is very, very powerful because it tells you for that keyword or even in that specific market, not global market, but the actual product market itself, you know, what time of the year do, does that keyword generate a lot of demand? And you can see here that a lot of demand is really generated during the December uh, time frame. And it, it kind of makes sense because that's really the holiday season both here in the United States as well as in the United Kingdom and likely a lot of other places all around the world. So if you have product and you know that you're going to be selling that product during that time, you want to stock up a little bit more, but it also gives you a sense of you know, how that keyword performs during that time. So you know during the months of October, uh, November, and December, you really need to stock up at that point. So as we move further down, we see that uh, certain keywords, in this case, wooden cutting boards, gets about 70 exact searches a month, which in my judgment isn't a lot in the world of Google. However, don't focus so much on that individual metric. Instead, I want you to look at which keywords get the most traffic in general. Because I think it's pretty corollary. You can correlate the keywords that get the most traffic in Google to the keywords that get the most traffic in Amazon, uh, UK, Spain, Japan, France, and so forth. Um, and in this case, we just want to generate some ideas and go after the keywords that will, in fact, generate the most uh, traffic for our business. And in this case, if we looked at wooden cutting boards, we know that's what we want to focus on. But then we decide, all right, you know, let's see what other keywords are out there. Maybe there's some better ones that have some slight variations that can make a difference for us. You have cheese board, that could be actually a good one that you could leverage. Chopping board, that's another good one. I mean, that gets a whole lot more than, than the keyword wooden cutting boards for that matter. Wooden chopping boards, seems pretty niche, seems like one that I would add to the list. Wooden blocks, mm, probably not so much. Glass chopping board, probably not. Cheese board, maybe. Cheese boards, maybe. Granite, probably not. But someone who's looking for granite may decide that they want to instead get a wooden cutting board. You never know, but I wouldn't start off with that one. Wooden chopping boards. I mean, we can go on and on with this whole process, but you know what's great about this is it really gives you some really great ideas that you can leverage uh, in trying to make the best decision as far as the keywords that you want to focus on for your business and uh, for your brand. So I want to show you a couple other things that's pretty cool with Google Keyword Planner. Let's say you just wanted to focus on keywords that were all focused on wood or wood. You can go into this little filter down here called keywords to include and it will only f only give you the keywords that have the words wood or wooden in the actual search term itself. And just to be clear, 
Wooden chopping boards is the total number of exact searches that that keyword produces in English, in the English language here in the United Kingdom. And so what's really important is that it's not wooden chopping board. That's a whole nother, that's a whole nother animal. That's a different search. That gets 720. So it gives you, so it tells you that, all right, so wooden chopping board or wooden chopping boards get somewhere around 2,800 searches. I think that might even be a better keyword to leverage versus wooden cutting boards for that matter. So, you know, that, that's really a great process that you can go through if you're trying to find different keywords that can really make a difference for your business. And I wanted to show you one other thing that I like to use the Google Keyword Planner for. Let's say we take that keyword that we, that we found that we saw was really powerful. Wooden chopping, not cutting, but wooden chopping boards. Chopping boards. Go in there and you can see that there are a number of different searches in here that you can leverage. Premier Housewares, let's take a look at this one right here in the UK. Uh, this one is at a 19,000, uh, they probably get about two sales a day, maybe one sale a day um, at that number, which isn't bad. Um, could be better, but you can see their pictures are terrible. They have, only have one picture, they only have a little bit of text here, which goes to show you from a global Amazon selling standpoint, being able to sell in UK and Spain and France and some of these other lesser, co lesser competitive markets can be very, very powerful. But let's say we weren't exactly sure of the keywords that we wanted to go after. Instead, we wanted to pull some data from other individual listings or individual landing pages. In this case, you can take this URL, which here, if you look here, this is the ASIN or the individual product identifier, if you will. I would copy that entire URL. I will go back into Google Keyword Planner and instead of doing the search um, via the keyword itself, I would mod mod modify my search and just include the landing page itself. And then I would hit get ideas. Give that a second. And usually you get the same stuff, but sometimes it's a little bit different. Sometimes it may give you some other um, ideas that you really originally weren't thinking of. So let's go back and let's make certain that we get rid of wood and wooden to ensure that we've gotten all the keywords that we can take advantage of and look into. Butcher's block, cheese board, chopping board, still some of the same different things that we mentioned earlier. Personalized chopping board, maybe not so much. Um, but once I'm done going through this entire process, trying to pick out those keywords that can really make a difference for my business, I'll then download that list into an Excel file, go through that process. I have 772 keywords. I'll save the file. It will download for me. I'll open that keyword up. Give it a second. I wish my computer was just a little bit faster, but please give me one second. I greatly appreciate that. In the meantime, we'll go back and see. Let's see here. Here we go. Perfect. And you can see here you have the entire list. And you can sort this list based on average monthly search. That's probably the most important metric that I would consider. And trying to match those keywords up with the individual uh, with the individual product itself. So once you've gone through that entire process, that's it. I mean, Google Keyword Planner, it's free. All you gotta do is sign up with for an AdWords account or use your Gmail or your email that's connected to your personal Gmail account. And I can assure you that, you know, this is a very, very powerful process that I personally go through when I'm performing keyword research. Um, now you can tie this in with some of the things that you can do through Google Translate, which allows you to translate individual words and full listings and emails um, over into that, that native language. So if you have something that's in English, you want to translate into Spanish or French or German, you can do that and then take those individual keywords and put those into Google Keyword Planner so you can also find those individual Spanish, German, uh, Japanese even uh, keywords that can help generate the right traffic to your Amazon product listing or listing ad for that matter. So 
I hope this was helpful. Uh, this is a powerful tool. It's free of charge. I highly recommend anyone that's out there to take advantage of this tool because um, it will help generate quite a number of ideas for you. Um, so if you have any questions, I'm looking forward to them. And uh, I will talk to all of you soon. Thanks so much.